Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I will be talking about a book called Relentless by Karen Lynch. It is a young adult novel. It is book one of three. Uh, there's seven books altogether in the series, but this trilogy is specifically about Sarah. And then there's four books. One is from a different perspective, this trilogy in a different perspective, and then three books about surrounding characters. Um, <clears throat> yesterday I started a book and I got about halfway through and I just couldn't finish it. Uh, it started out weird and it just got weirder the further I got. And I got to the halfway point and I was like, I can't, I can't, I, I can't do it. Is it? And so I shut it down and I was like, all right, we're going to start a different book. So I started Relentless. And um, like I said, it's a young adult novel. So uh, it kind of has that twilight vibe where it's a girl who, she's extraordinary. She heals um, animals and uh, supernatural creatures, but she can't heal humans. Um, she has a dark presence in the back of her mind that she kind of keeps caged um, and it stirs when she's in trouble. And so she tries her best to be as good as possible and avoid the dark presence, avoid situations where it could be activated. <clears throat> when she was uh, eight years old, she found her dad murdered um, by vampires. And as she's about to turn 18 in the book, she kind of wants closure. And so she's been investigating her dad's death and trying to find out who did it. So she meets a contact or she meets a contact online um and he is like well let's meet in person so we can talk about this and so he she's like wants to meet him in public so they go to a club and she instead gets attacked by vampires and is saved by the dark broody vampire slayer and also happens to find out that her two best friends who are guys are werewolves and the three of them save her from the vampire she finds out that the vampire slayer has a dark entity in the back of his mind because that's the hallmark of a vampire slayer in this series. So uh, they, they're called the Mohiri, um, M-O-H-I-R-I, -I, and um, because they have a Mori demon uh, in their minds. And so uh, she goes through this whole process of coming to terms with what she is. Uh, the one thing she finds out though is that Mohiri aren't healers. They don't have the ability to heal. So that comes from something else. They just have speed and strength, which she has not discovered yet because she has such a tight leash on her demon. And um, so Nicholas, the guy who saves her, says that he's never seen or heard of anyone with as much control over their demon as she's got. And so um, he's kind of impressed with her. There's this little budding romance uh, thing going on. Uh, but the difference with this one versus like other young adult novels I've read is she is independent, but not stupid. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't say that. Uh, she's independent and also self-sufficient. She fights off things and everyone's always very impressed. Like, you've just fought off a big giant hyena thing. You just held your own against a vampire. Like, what? Uh, and so <laughs> she, yeah, uh, is coming to terms with being a Mohiti and um, realizes that what she is and who she is is putting her friends in danger. And so she decides to go with Nicholas to the Mohiri at the end of the book. And she finds out she's a Mohiri plus, and you have to read it for yourself to find out what else she is that helps her to heal. Um, she's also friends with a troll, a big scary troll that no one else uh, in the whole world wants to be friends with because they're scary, but she befriends them. She also tames hell beasts and all kinds of other fun things. So, uh, I 100% recommend this book. It was so fun to read. I could not put it down. Um, it's a 306 page book. I got it on Kindle Unlimited. No, I got it on Kindle. 
uh, not unlimited. It was a free book. The rest of the books cost, um, but I 100% recommend it. I can't wait to read book two. So thank you for uh, watching and I hope that you like my page. Uh, subscribe and like this post and I'll see you tomorrow.